Welcome to Make the Grade with the success doctor, Stephen Green, where you'll discover actionable strategies to help your student to reach their academic goals, to excel at standardized testing, and to plan for the college admissions process painlessly. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Green. Hey everybody, Steve Green, the success doctor. We're talking about the why. Why do we do what we do? This is the Make the Great Podcast. Hope everybody's doing well out there. This, I'm trying to get motivated today, I'm trying to get you motivated. You know, it's a transitional time of year. I am recording this middle of June, 2020. Kind of, sort of, in the middle end of this whole COVID thing. But more importantly, in my world, school just ended. School ended last week. So normally this time of year, I'm going from being super busy, really busy, 14, 15, 16 hour a day busy, to almost being on vacation. This year, though, different. The whole last three and a half months was different. I don't have to tell you this. If you were a parent or a student, you probably already know this. So every year this time of year, I, I reset. And I'm thinking about, okay, what went well? What do I feel was successful? And what needs to be improved? I've been doing this 24 years. I'll be 25 years in September. Can you believe it? 25th year, make the grade. Who would have thought? And one of the questions I ask myself is, in addition to what went well, what did not go well, just why? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Why am I asking students to do what they do? I'm asking parents to support the situation like they do. You know, why? The existential question. And I guess let's start with that. I think to some degree it's about success. And success is all over my brand, the Make the Great Success community. I use the word success multiple times an hour sometimes because we have to have goals. Success is not a finite goal. I guess you can have financial success, but how much money is that? It's a million dollars enough, 10 million, 100 million, 2 billion. You can have physical goals, emotional goals. So success is, is a vague thing, but I think everyone would agree success is the result of making a goal and working towards that goal, okay? So in my circumstance, because 99% of the time I am working with students and families or entrepreneurs in the business side of my business who are trying to accomplish something. And maybe it's vague. And even in my, own, in my own life, there are things I know I want to accomplish. And I can't exactly sometimes make them super smart goals, specific, measurable, timing, accountability, that whole thing. But the biggest parameter typically for students is either best grades they can get, highest GPA they can get, or if it's a test prep scenario, highest SAT scores, ACT scores can get, or are they getting into the college they want to go to? They get into the dream school, their first choice school. So that's usually the why. That is the motivator, the carrot, call it what you want, that they can use to keep themselves going. Day to day, over and over, consistent. And if you're a fan of this podcast, you know these words, I use them a lot. Consistent commitment, day in, day out. So I'm going to turn it around the other way. Say, ask, what's your why? If you're a student, why do you, what drives you to work hard? Why are you working hard to reach your goals? Why are you working hard to have success? If you're a parent, why are you pushing your children? I think it's the assumption is all parents want their kids to be successful. And there's that concept again, which I think we all understand, but it's hard to really pinpoint. So again, this time of year, I kind of circle back. What went well? What went well? I think for the most part, and I got to give a lot of credit to my students and their families, we handled this COVID shut-in pretty well. It wasn't always easy. There wasn't a huge amount of direction from schools or teachers. Sometimes kids were basically teaching themselves, and congratulations to those of you who had to do that. And that would include learning by videos that were, you know, made on the internet. And they're fine. Nothing wrong with them. Actually, it's usually good information. But you still had to basically put it all together on your own. So congratulations to you for sticking with it, doing the best you could, and making the best of a challenging situation. Also, I had plenty of students this year. I had eight students before the whole thing hit the fan break 1,400 on SATs. I had three of them get 800s in sections. Many of them get 700s in sections. This is not easy to do. This is the result of long-term consistent commitment and hard work and consistent commitment to the process. 
So congratulations to you. And if you're listening, you know who you are. 1580, 1550, 1540, two 1530s, a 1510, uh, 1450, 40, I forget all of them, so I'm not writing them down. This is a little bit more spontaneous. The point is, 18 kids breaking those numbers. It's tremendous, way above anything national in terms of uh, standard deviations and all that stuff. And that doesn't to say that the people who worked hard and got a 1,200 failed. If that was their best, if that's the best they could do and their highest score under the circumstances they had, then I think we'll take it because we can translate that into success with the schools. And that's what we're going to keep doing moving forward. What didn't go as well? You know, I wish uh, I could have been able to reach more people. That's always one of my goals. I have spent a lot of time and energy and resources this past year developing the Make the Great Success community. It's a 24-7 resource for families and for students. Why am I doing this? Because I have a mission, and I'd like my legacy to be that I helped as many people as I could. Can't help everybody, can't reach everybody, but it's available if you want it. It's on Facebook. It's easy to get to. Go to makethegrade.net. Big thing there. You can click on, take you right to it. Spend a lot of time putting content in there, answering questions in there, doing live events in there, doing homework help in there, doing test prep help in there, and along with all my individual people. So I'd like to continue to improve that. It, it's a work in progress, and it probably always will be, but it's getting there. And I think it's going in the right direction. And I thank everybody who supported it and has joined to become members. And I wish everybody listening would consider doing it. The other thing I think could improve is planning ahead. I wish I could still get students to think longer throw, longer time horizon. Everybody is so focused and not incorrectly on what's due tomorrow, what's due tomorrow. Sometimes I wish I could get people to look a little further out. But, you know, we, we take what we can do. We try, we work hard, we shoot for the best and we do what we can. And that's, that's really it. So I'm going to come back to the why. Why do I keep doing what I'm doing? It's because I care about people. I want them to be successful on their terms. That could be high grades. That could be high SAT scores. It be getting into the college you want. This could be self-esteem. It could be emotionally helpful. That's why I've brought all kinds of people onto this podcast. And that's something I was happy about this year. I had, I had uh, 16 guests on this podcast, all across the board in terms of what they brought to the table. Breathing exercises to relax. Study skill tips. All sorts of things. And we'll continue to do that. I'm having a series now where I am having conversations with parents and their experience during the shut-in and the homeschooling phase. If you're a parent listening and you'd like to be involved in that and have a conversation, please reach out. Screen at makethegrade.net or just go to makethegrade.net and go to the contact form. You'll see it there. So this is a lot about communication. I did a podcast I still reference often. Three C's of success, S-U-C-C-C-E-S-S, commitment, consistency, and community. And that's really where I'm hanging my flag moving forward. Steve Green, the Make the Grade podcast. My mission is to provide actions for students and their families, parents trying to help their children to maximize their education. That's the goal. That's where this always goes. That's what it all comes back to. In closing, I'm going to keep this one short today. We're talking about the why. Why do we do what we do? Why do I do as an educator what I do? Why do you as a student do what you do? Why do parents do what they do as parents? And I am submitting is because we all want to be successful. I see my role as helping families, helping students to get to that point, working with them one-on-one in groups, through the social media, through the community, in part even through this podcast. I see the student's role as as understanding what it takes to have the consistency and commitment and using your community to get there. I talked about structures a lot this year, especially during the COVID thing. The five essential structures, physical, time, academic, accountability, and support. I continue to talk about them because it just works. It gets the results that we want it to get. And that's what we do. So I'd love your feedback on this. A little bit different than some of the podcasts, uh, but, but I think this time of year, for me, this is a time of reflection. I want to thank everybody who worked with me and supported me and helped me, and there were plenty of people that helped, especially when it came to 
outreach with social media and the podcast and the web development and the things like that. I'm doing all my own for the most part with some help. I want to thank the parents who supported this and, and the children. And of course, you know, my best part of it's working with the kids. Always the best part. So congratulations to all of you. And those of you who came up short of your goals, it's fine. As long as you worked your hardest, stuck to your commitment, and we're consistent. We'll get them next time. So our year kind of ends right about now. Starts up again in August or September, and that's where we're going to hit it again running. Look for a whole bunch of things I'm going to be rolling out this summer, and I think you're going to like them. I think more importantly, I think you're going to find them useful because, again, this is all about actions. So Steve Green, the success doctor, coming at you on the Make the Great podcast. Love to hear your feedback and your comments. Just drop them in the comments below or email me, S-G-R-E-E-N-E at M-A-K-E-T-H-E-G-R-A-D-E dot net. Pop them in social media at Make the Great or the Facebook group, communities. You'll find it. Instagram. Ah, So thanks again. I will catch you in the next episode. And happy summer solstice. You've been listening to Make the Grade with the success doctor, Stephen Green. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe. For more resources and support, please visit makethegrade.net.